Good morning, everyone. This is Brad Matheny. Today is the 12th of July. We are looking at a uh, a carryover pattern today. This is the continuation of the plan your trade video. Um, love all the comments. Thank you, guys. I mean, most have been positive and uh, I got some news for you today because this carryover trigger may present a little bit of both the up and down swing we've seen recently. Um, you can see we are still technically in a bullish trend. Uh, this is as of the 10th. I'm looking at the, the cycle patterns from the 10th. Uh, we are moving into the exhaustion rally phase. Um, and if we come back over here and take a look at the patterns as applied through my expectation on the chart, um, you know, I'm going to be very honest here after yesterday's big breaking downward trigger, these upward numbers, ladies and gentlemen, this 568 to 570 le uh, level <clears throat> is still very valid to me. I've explained this to you over and over again, how price moves in legs. So given where we're at with this current leg, if we look at this rejection point and or this rejection point here, in this area i mean we are really targeting this 569 to 570 area in my opinion okay now this may come through a bit of an extended upward move meaning that maybe it's going to come out here in this area somewhere near this apex moving up into this move or higher or maybe it's going to come up here but i doubt very highly after this rotation downward that we're going to see a huge move over the next two or three days pushing up into this 566 to 580 or 571 area i mean it, it looks to me like it's improbable that's all i'm going to say um i am not going to adjust my triggers i am not going to adjust my drawing that would be cheating in regards to um, being able to identify what is coming. What we're going to do is see how this plays out, just like I did here. See how it plays out. I'm going to give you my best interpretation. Now, a carryover is typically a carryover of trend. So now we have to look at this as a big engulfing bearish pattern. Um, does this confer as a carryover of trend, or do we see some carryover of the upward movement that we'd seen prior to this. And that's what I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to go down to a 30 minute chart. And I'm going to tell you that I think what we're really looking at here is building a base. I think we're looking at building a base, possibly seeing a bit more downward trending today. But in reality, if I were to kind of draw what I expect, I would suspect that we're going to maybe get some upward downward trending and then possibly moving into some sort of an upward move into the end of the week, which would be the end of the day Friday, squeezing these shorts um, and attempting to move into that exhaustion rally phase for Monday. Okay, so now obviously this big downside move um, blew out and I knew it was going to be a, a counter trend breaking pattern. I just expected the strength to carry forward a bit stronger than the emotional move of the CPI. <clears throat> so now we get to see if I play out right here. I do expect some downward trending, but remember, we're already at key levels of support. So let me show you this here and explain to you a little bit about why we're at these key levels of support. So this is a chart now that's going back very um, all the way into uh, into June, okay? And we can see this consolidation through here. We can see this deep low. And as you can see here, I can draw this right across these levels, come right down to this rejection point here. And then I can very clearly identify support and resistance channels based on this area. And we have a massive support channel right here. We then from this level here, let me highlight this level, from this low to this high up here yesterday, we have a 
major support level. Come on, right there. Right in that area. So now we come back in here, spread this out. And understand that we are currently below this support level. So this was a very important support level. Very important support level <clears throat> based on the move from here up. So we're below this level. If we do get rejection of this level, it's going to appear like this, moving back to the upside. If we get continuation of this level, meaning that that support level stays broken, then we are going to attempt to move down into this support level and potentially find support before we move back to the upside. Now, it won't be that long. Uh, again, it's just 30 minutes, so it'll be something like this, and then maybe back to the upside. So we really have to watch these two levels. We're in this nebulous area where we filled the gap right here. We're back down into this consolidation phase. You can almost see it right across here. So we're kind of in this area here, meaning that we, we've gotten back into this very tight range that was set up during the consolidation phase right through here on Monday and Tuesday. This was our consolidation range leading to our big breakout, leading to washing everything out. And now we're into this carryover phase. And like I said, I believe the carryover in carryover trend is going to continue to resolve to the upside. So again, not changing my analysis. I mean, I am giving you updated information. I am trying to provide you the best information I can. Um, and again, I'm trying to predict what's going to happen over the next 8, 10, 12 hours. Uh, but I am going to tell you right now that I really do believe that this washout move was a very emotional move. We're below critical support. We're above longer term major support. I believe we wash out and reject either in this area where we're at right now or a bit lower and then continue to resolve back to the upside maybe pushing us back into you know if i carry this maybe pushing us back into this area 565 570 before we get the breakdown or maybe seeing some kind of a big move but before we get the breakdown but i think we're going to push again and attempt to maybe see new all-time highs if this level holds it's got to be very important that this level has to reject Rejection can be like this, or can be deeper, uh, or can be just a roll over here. Sorry. But it has to reject, okay? It has to reject in order for this outcome to come. If it fails to reject, then we're going to move down here into this support area and try to find support around 551, 552. Okay, guys, that's it for now. See you in a little bit with an update.